Hi, my name is Amanda Oakleaf. I am owner, head baker, decorator of Amanda Oakleaf Cakes in Winthrop, Massachusetts, where we do custom cakes of all kinds, wedding cakes, birthday cakes, sculpted cakes, anything you can think of, we can make it into a cake. And today, I will be talking to you about cake decorating. So when baking a cake, it's good to know what basic ingredients you need. If you have a recipe, the main ingredients should be flour, sugar, eggs, milk, um, and then of course the butter or the oil. The eggs in the cake provide the structure. There are emulsifiers in the recipe, and they bond the liquid ingredients with the dry ingredients and form the structure and the strength of the cake. Also in that group are the flours. The flour also provides strength. Um, usually cake with cake flour, um, is a more delicate cake, more fluffy, whereas a cake with uh, all-purpose flour will have a cake texture that's more coarse, um, more tight, and then the milk in the ingredients will moisten up the cake and kind of loosen the batter, get it flowing, uh, and the fat is where the moisture comes in, whether you have oil or butter. Um, if you have butter, your recipe probably calls for the creaming method, where you would cream the butter and the sugar together. Um, and you want to do that for at least five minutes so that the butter and the sugar create air pockets inside. The longer they whip, the more air pockets you'll have and the fluffier cake in the end. So spend the time to cream the butter and the sugar together. That way your end result will be better. And then from there you would add the eggs. Adding the eggs one at a time will allow the eggs to be fully incorporated and keep the batter from getting too wet too quickly. And then from there you would alternate the flour and the milk and you don't want to add those too quickly either. You want everything to be incorporated slowly, that way the batter um, is evenly incorporated. So a little bit of flour, a little bit of milk, alternate it till everything's mixed in, and then save the flour for the last. Once everything's mixed together, then you want to pour it in the pans um, and bake it up. When you bake it, you want to make sure um, to keep it in the middle of the oven, that way it's not too close to the heat on the bottom. And then bake it up until when you press the center, you, if, you, if you leave a finger mark and it kind of sinks, um, the batter is still liquid inside, so make sure to bake it a little bit longer. If you could insert a toothpick into the middle and the batter sticks to the toothpick, it's not done either. Um, so those are two ways to check. If you press it and it kind of bounces back the cake, then it's done. Take it out of the oven. And that's the basics of baking.